Hello my friends, today we're continuing with our mini-series of uh, Luminar Neo and today we'll talk about face and skin AI tool. We'll start with this example over here and we'll go to edit. Our face AI is over here and the skin AI is over here. Let's see how we would go about it. First, when I start editing a photo, the first tool I like to use is Enhance AI. And if you move it all the way to the right, you will see it messes around with the color, the luminance, the sharpness. It just kind of balances overall highlights and shadows. And I would never go all the way to 100, but in this case, maybe around 28 looks good to me. This is before and after. It just gives it a little bit of boost. The next thing I would do, I would go to the face AI and let's see, we can lighten the face over here. In this case, we do not need it. The face is pretty light. Maybe we can add a little bit. We can slim the face and most of the time I would recommend you should not do this. But there would be cases if you use a really wide angle lens and your subject is not perfectly in the center, then your, their face might be stretched out and get wider. So then this is a way you can kind of cheat that. All right, moving on. I am going to go to skin. Let's work on her skin a little bit. And here, if I move the skin amount all the way to 100, you will see it will try to smooth everything. And um, this is the before and after. It's like even in tone, the, even it up the skin tone, but it's way too much. And I don't really like the overall look. It just seems too overdone. So I never, I never really want to go over 30. I'll go with 29 this time. There is also a slider here for remove shine. If I go all the way to 100 and then go before and after. Look at the highlight here on the nose and on the cheekbone. Before and after. Before and after. It removes that. Now, I do believe that highlight was put there intentionally, so I'm just going to leave a little bit of it. I don't want to completely remove it. You also have a check over here. You can do skin defects remover. So if I click that, look over here, this little mark, little mole or something, freckle, it disappears. So what AI does in this case is trying to remove all blemishes. It didn't do a perfect job. There is still stuff that I could be fixing, but I will show you how I would do that. We'll go to the erase tool. We used erase in previous um, episodes for removing power lines and uh, dust spots, but now we're gonna use it to remove some blemishes. When you remove blemishes with the erase tool, you really wanna have your brush pretty much as small as the blemish. You don't want it really big. So you will click on it and then click erase and it will remove that blemish. You can do that one by one or you can just color them all and then click erase. There's a little mark over here. I'm gonna re erase that one too. So there you go. Now that we have that, let's work more on the skin. One other way to soften the skin, you can add some structure. Now structure, if you move it to the right, it will create more sharpness and clarity. But if you move it to the right or left, it will do exactly the opposite, it will soften things. So here was before and after. I'm gonna zoom in more so you can see better. I'm gonna go to 100%. And let's see. This is our structure before and after. Subtle, but it does make a difference. If we wanna soften things even more, we can go to details. And this is where you will sharpen small details, medium and large, but the same thing, a structure, if you move it to the left, you actually decrease the sharpness. And for skin tones, I like to mess with small and medium details. Now, the sharpen would be very handy for sharpening the eyes and the lips because we don't want to blur everything. So eyes and lips should stay sharp. But if I do it right now, increase it, let's say, all the way to 100, we'll sharpen everything, the skin and the eyes, and we just soften the skin. So I don't want to use it right now. I want to do it separately. So in this case, I will exit the tools, go back into the tools, and now I can go back to details and use sharpen. 
And because on this layer I only have the sharpen, I can go with a paintbrush and only paint this effect where I want it. So I want to sharpen the eyes, the eyebrow, and the lips. All right, what should we do next? Let's go zoom out, see where we are, where we started and where we ended so far. So this is the before and after. Okay, let's go back to the face, face AI over here. And now we have the option of putting more light on the face. The face is already pretty light, so we're not gonna do that. And we already went over that, I'm sorry. Now eyes, we can change eye color over here where Iris is, I can go, she already has blue eyes, so I could go with blue to enhance that. And it looks really creepy, but I'll show you how to fix it. We can change it to brown. If we want her to have brown eyes, we can change to green, or you can go with really crazy thing like cat eye or owl eye. I don't know why we'll do that, but you know. So we'll go with blue because she already has blue eyes. Now, this is the visibility, how much you want to see that or not. I'm just going to go a little bit. Then you have Iris Flare. This one, it doesn't seem to do anything in this photo. You can enlarge eyes, make it cartoony. There are cases when you might need to use this tool. For example, I um, shot a portrait of a lady once and she did have one eye naturally smaller than the other. And normally I would not change anything um, in that case, but she asked me if I can make her eyes even. So this, I used it on Photoshop, I used Liquify, but the same thing, you would just uh, increase the one eye and then you would mask it and just do that one. Eye whitening, you'll just whiten, don't go all the way, make it look creepy like a vampire, just a little bit, make it seem more awake. A little bit goes a long way. Eye enhancer, this is a great one, gives it a lot more clarity and sharpness to the eye. You see that all the way to the right, to the left. So we'll do a little bit of eye enhancer. Red eye remover, she does not have red eyes, but this is where you use that. Dark circle remover, that's just that, did a good job. And improve eyebrows, this will darken the eyebrows, and I like to use it a little bit too. Then we'll go to the mouth, and this is where we can improve the lip saturation. We can add more red to the lips, we can make it a little bit darker, and you can whiten teeth. We don't see her teeth, so we'll leave that alone. All right, let's see the before and after. This is our before, this is the after. Now, as you can see, the eyes look a little bit creepy. We went a little bit overboard with that. So this is how we will fix it. We will go to edit. We'll go back into the edits and we see the eyes were under the face. So we'll take a brush, a mask, and we'll erase it from the eyes, but we don't want to erase all of it because we do like the blue, it's just a little bit too much. So we'll reduce the mask strength by half. That means we're only gonna erase half of it and we'll leave half to be visible. So there you go. So this is before and after. So we erased half of it. Now, if we look overall to the whole picture, this is the before and this is the after. Before and after. Let's take a different example. This time we will work, let's do a male portrait. We'll go to edit, we'll go to tools, and we'll start with enhance. So there you go, we'll just do a little bit of enhance. Then we'll go to face. Mm, no, let's start with the skin, not the face. We'll go to skin and we'll increase this to about 30. We'll remove some shine and click the skin defect remover. So see the skin, this is the before and after. Before and after. If I go in, let's say a little bit closer. You see you've removed some stuff in here, but not completely. This is the before, this is the after. So then we'll go back to our erase tool and we can erase Make the brush a little bit bigger. We can erase this better. Let's say erase. It takes a second to work. 
And there you go. Now we'll go to structure. And just like before, we'll take it down a little bit. All right. Then we'll go to details. We'll lower the small details and the medium details. We'll get out of the tools and back into the tools so we can go back to details and add some sharpen to the eyes and mouth. So we're going to paint the effect on the eyes, on the mouth, and the brows. Okay. Now let's see. We'll go into the face. We can add some light. That's too much. We'll just add a little bit. We can slim the face, but we're not going to do that. We'll go to the eyes. Let's see. We can do blue eyes again. Let's not change the colors. Let's just work with what we have. We can add iris flare. In this case, doesn't seem to be doing much. We do not want to enlarge the eyes, but we'll do increase the whites a little bit. Eye enhancer, this will give us some nice details. Red eye remover, it does not have red eyes. Dark circles, we can remove those. Improve eyebrows, we can darken it just a tiny little bit. Let's feed it to screen and see where we started and where we are right now. This is our before and after. Now I think the face is way too bright. So what I am going to do, I'm going to go and develop and I'm going to take the exposure down until I see the skin looking good. All right, that's too much. I'm going to go like this, but I am going to erase it from the face, but I don't want to erase it 100% because then I'm going to have a too bright of a face again. I'm going to go back to 50 and just remove 50% of this darkness on the face and maybe the hand as well. So there you go. This is our before and after, after you erase it. Let's see, before and after, before and after. We will do maybe one more example. This time we'll work on, let's see, which one should we do? We'll do this one just to work with the skin a little bit more. And we'll go to edit. I am going to zoom in more so you can see it. And let's see, we'll start with enhance. There you go. Then I am going to go to skin. And you see if I go 100%, it just, it's just too much. I'm going to go even closer to 100% so you can see it. It gives you this artifacts of artificial sharpening if you go to 100%. So I'm gonna go just 29 for this one. Then we wanna maybe erase blemishes and in this case is freckles. Just gonna erase some of them. I'm not gonna take them all out just so you don't have to wait and watch me do it. But I am removing some of them. All right, erase. All right, we did that. Then we'll go to structure. We'll decrease the structure a little bit. We'll go to details. We'll take down the details a little bit, the medium and small details. We'll exit the tools. We'll go back into the tools and we'll go to the details to add some sharpness so we can add it to the lips and eyes. So we'll paint it in. The eyes doesn't really matter here because they're closed, but I'm just gonna go over the lips. Okay, there you go. So let's go back out, fit the screen, and let's see where we are. This was the before and after. Before and after. Before and after. All right. Um, the, br the blue became a little bit too bright, so I am going to, let's do the relight for this one. And maybe 
darken the far. Let's see how it does. All right. But we might want to erase some from the skin. So I am going to erase it, make the brush bigger. Just going to erase it from the skin. There you go. So now this is the before and after. The whole edit before and after. Let's go to the face AI and the mouth. We didn't work with the mouth. We can't work with the eyes because the eyes are closed, so we're not going to get much there. But we can increase the saturation of the mouth, the redness, the darkening, maybe even teeth whitening a little bit, even though we only see a little bit. Let's see, this is our before and after. Before and after. And I think that is a very uh, pleasing result. So this is how I would edit portraits in uh, Luminar Neo using skin and face AI. The best way really to edit skin is to do it in Photoshop and use frequency separation. I can make a video about that. If you guys are interested, please comment in the comments below. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe so you won't miss future videos. My name is Skylar Ewing and I will see you next time.